Well, good morning. Here today on the Rusty Glove Box, what we're going to do is I'm going to start digging the trench for the electrical, and uh, we're just going to see how far I get. My goal is to get the wiring run inside the shop, so let's see. Well, we're going to get ready to dig the trench now, and I got the ground saw out, and, and I did uh, fire it up. I didn't do a cold start video on it, but anyway, it's, I don't know, it's about... 9 15 so i wanted to get this trench dug from the solar tracker over here to the shop and i'm gonna have an electrical box go through the wall maybe you can see that x on the wall but anyway and right here from a previous project uh from my rainwater collection system, I have a pipe underground, so I have to make sure I don't hit that. Well, I got the trench dug, and it's about a foot deep. That's deep enough for me. I'm not gonna do any excavating back here. This hot summer, Everything is really starting to die. The grass has stopped growing. So uh, you can just imagine how hard this mixture of gravel and dirt is right here. Well, I'm getting ready to pull my cable through the uh, flexible conduit. I use that instead of just the rigid. Uh, it's easier for me to run in the trench and because I had to kind of make a funny angle at the end. But anyway, I stuck a uh, run a string through the conduit using a vacuum cleaner. Y'all probably seen that, know about the, how to do that. But I'm using this heavy cord to pull these, uh, it's two eight gauge wires and uh, a double 12 gauge through there. The 12 gauge, I'm not gonna use it right now, but I may need it in the future. Okay, well, we got all our wires running. I've got it hooked into this disconnect box and uh, I've run the conduit down in the trench. I'm going to kind of adjust it. That's uh, over there on the wall. That's where I'm going to go through. And my shop has a double wall in it. You know, steel exterior. And uh, what I did, I made a little kind of an auger bit out of a welding rod. And that way I can go through the steel and then go through the wood interior. And I've got a pilot hole. There's what the little hole looked like coming through the wall, and uh, it's going to be just right for me to use my hole saw. All right, there we go. Perfectly lined up hole. You can see daylight through there. I'm going to seal up behind the box so no varmints uh, can come in. So here, I can slide that all the way through the wall, and I've got that dum-dum on it to seal it. And I'll get it pushed up there good and tight. And then I'll put some drill screws in there to hold that box. Okay, I got the pipe through the wall. I'll put some dum-dum around that hole so no critters can go in and out. So I'm gonna go out there and start feeding the wire. From where I came in into the shop, I put in a 90 and ran three quarter inch PVC up and then tied into it with this uh, flexible wiring protector loom and I've ran it here. I've got it temporarily tied up. I'm gonna get some better clamps up there. And I come around and I've got it down here and I'm ready to hook up to my, pa uh, my panel here, my control panel. And so over here in the corner, I have tucked away, uh, you know, like my new power inverter and charge controller and all the little miscellaneous circuit breakers and odd and ends and uh, labels. I was pretty uh, happy to get those labels. So anyway, uh, that's going to be uh, coming on a future update installing all this. So anyway, that's what I have for you for now on the progress of the solar tracker. Looking forward to uh, really getting after it and installing the panels on there. So anyway, I appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here. Mm -hmm.